Let's continue our Android app based on HTML5. I'm Victor Campos. Uh, we've got our project so far, and it runs in the emulator and your real device, and it's an app. looks nice. But we haven't done anything very special yet in that we haven't tapped into the capabilities of the mobile device. For example, what I want to do is when we go to the social media screen and someone taps on Twitter to view my Twitter stream, I want it to show uh, my latest tweets within the app. I don't want it to jump me over to my uh, standalone web browser. So what we're going to do is tap into something called uh, the in-app browser, uh, and it'll allow us to open up any web, any website within our app. Now, in order for that to happen, now we need to start to tap into the capabilities of PhoneGap. Uh, we've got currently in the campus folder an index file and this is a jQuery mobile project so this could run right on the right on a website it doesn't have any inherent uh, device capabilities yet in order for us to tap into that if you look at the index file that came with the phone gap framework we've got a line uh, line 36 script type JavaScript source cordova.js that allows me to tap into the capabilities of my mobile device such as the um, the sounds the vibration the in-app browser the gps contacts uh, the camera all this cool stuff so i need to copy this uh, this bit of code from the index that i got from phone gap copy that and then we'll paste it into the index for our jQuery mobile project. And uh, let's see, just anywhere in the head should be fine. So I'll put it into line 20. And again, that's uh, the script tag. It has an opening and closing. Technically, because we're on HTML5, we've got the optional type reference. That can actually be removed and everything should work fine. But then very importantly, we need the source source equals cordova.js. Wait a minute, cordova.js is not in my current folder, which is campus. Cordova.js is in the root folder. So make sure that we change our path here to dot dot slash. The dot dot slash means exit the current folder to find uh, the rest of your path. So I'm going to save that. If I run it, nothing really happens yet because I haven't um, really said, well, now that I have this capability, what do I do with it? Well, here's what we're going to do. If you load up your web browser and you go to phonegap.com and you go to developer, docs, all the documentation is found here of what you can do. Uh, for example, um, dealing with um, storage, uh, camera, etc. What I recommend is notice at the very top right, this is telling us the documentation for PhoneGap version 3.4 as of this video. We're using actually PhoneGap 2.90 um, for this class, so 2.9.0. Go ahead and select that at the top right. And then here we get the documentation. How do I use the camera? How do I use the compass? Loading a file in app browser. That's what I want. Launch URLs in another in app browser instance. So if I click there, it'll give me all the documentation of how this works. The in app browser is a web browser that displays in the app when calling window.open. And the basic example is create a variable with a name, whatever we want, in this case, reference. And then the, the JavaScript command window.open, which PhoneGap translates into the appropriate uh, command for every uh, device. And then some parameters. Uh, the first parameter, what's the address? The second, blank, that means open in a new window. And then location, yes, that it is going to be a new location. So we'll tap into this to open up my Twitter stream. The documentation here is pretty detailed. So I do rec recommend you check it out. Uh, it gives great examples, a quick example, and a full example. Pretty straightforward. So let's give this a try on our, um, on our project. And we're going to do it smart. We're going to use reusable code. Instead of writing 
the code one time and then having to rewrite it every time we're going to write it once and then reuse it so our index file has a reference to codica.external.js that's where we're going to write our code so that we can reuse it easily so we're going to open codica so uh, codica.extra.js right click it open with text editor put your custom code here so we're going to write a custom function function space go to URL notice my capitalization capital T capital URL open close parentheses uh, open curly brace close curly brace so we're about to create a brand new command called go to URL a new function this will take a parameter of URL meaning the address that we want to go to uh, so that uh, we load up the Twitter stream for example within the uh, curly brace then we'll say window dot open open close parentheses this is the phone gap command which is basically JavaScript which basically gets converted into the correct native command for Android to understand uh, we need to say well we're gonna open a new a new address so I don't have to type the address over and over and over we are using the parameter the variable that we added up here so we'll say URL comma that's going to change every time. It's going to be Twitter one time, Facebook another time, Flickr another time. As per the specifications, next I need underscore blank in quotes. So it opens a new window, and then comma, as per the specification in quotes, we need location equals ES. So I'm going to save that. Now I've got a brand new command I can use quickly throughout my whole project go to URL and then plug in the address I'm gonna need that on my social screen let's see social screen there's resume social so I'm going to need that we uh, tap on a link and that it takes me to Twitter let's see here line 175 or so has the Twitter button that when I tap I wanted to show me my Twitter my Twitter account uh, it this could work by adding href and um, adding the address and so forth but we're working smarter we're using this function that we just created because this will actually allow us to um, reuse our code in a lot faster way so what we're going to do is we're going to leave that href as just the pound sign which means it acts like a link but it doesn't go anywhere and instead after the data transition we'll add on click equals quotes and what on click is it's a it's a it's a it's allowing us to write some javascript here so we're going to write on click notice it's lowercase and then we're going to say the name of the function we just created uh, which is go to URL just like I just like I wrote it and uh, open close parentheses and now inside of here we would normally write the print the the quotes and write the address of the website however I've I'm already using quotes as part of on click and if I write quotes in here things will get confused because now Eclipse thinks that our quotes end, start from here and end there, and then start from here and end there. So if we use quotes wrapping everything, we'll use single apostrophes or single quotes inside of the goto URL. And now here we can add the address my Twitter I'm gonna save it run it three two one go to social click on Twitter and now we get a web browser that loads in that loads up in my app it's a fully functional 
mini web browser in my app where I can go forward and backwards in history go to any address and then when I'm done I'm still back at my app cool so let me do that one more time this time for linked uh, for Google plus all I have to do here because I wrote my go to URL function in my external CSS file I just need to reuse it and plug in the next address so let's see here Google plus on click equals quotes let me show you something here actually we could use single quotes apostrophes and then go to URL open close parentheses and then I can use double quotes here this is the point that I was making earlier uh, you want to make sure you use the right pair HTTP uh, google.com don't forget to write it right uh, http colon slash slash google.com slash plus victor campos run it for testing purposes i would decrease the length of time that we wait for this splash screen to work maybe to one second and go to social media click on Google Plus it loads the in-app browser and it takes me to Google Plus and there's my Google Plus profile I'm done with the web browser which is fully functional I can go here and look at posts and I have a backwards and forward in time and so and then click done back on my app so this is happening because we're tapping into the in-app browser of, uh, of PhoneGap. And we can do more things such as activate the camera and such. So come back for that on a future video.